I have an exam tomorrow. <laughs> it's exam time. So I'm trying to remember a bunch of more stuff. And how are you gonna do that, you ask? <laughs> yeah. By drawing everything. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes. These are how I learn. And oh, aren't they beautiful? And oh, there's more. There's even unicorns. <gasps> That's Cope's Law. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And today is Wednesday. And tomorrow I have my exam. And then on Sunday I'm moving to Trondheim <laughs> for like a month. That's cool. That's cool. So that means I gotta move out of here, which means I have to pack all my stuff in two days and and wash and do all that and like I'm not excited. But I will be. And um it's very much colder in Trondheim than it is here. So I am very excited about that. <laughs> very excited. So excited. Oh, look at this. I'm a tidying machine. Yes. Get it done. My room is completely empty again. I've become really good at moving. And I'm not sure if that's really good or just sort of sad. <laughs> but I did it quick anyway. And now the only stuff I have left is just my backpack and a little box that I'm carrying down into the basement. I can't wait for this train ride. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm gonna love it. I'm excited to move. Yes. It's too hot for this shit. I want cold. Yesterday's plane train ride <laughs> took seven hours and I took the train instead of the plane just because the environment <laughs> and honestly it was such a good choice because I loved it. I was I felt so much more energetic after that train ride because it was just such a beautiful view and I could just sit there and relax and then I arrived here and it's colder here. Yesterday when I was when when I came, it was 13 degrees and that's just so perfect. I am not one for the heat. <laughs> so I'm in the room that I'm renting now and I'm I'll soon be on my way to the to the museum where where the plant collection is and I'm ready for my first day of work. It's it's very exciting. I'm so excited and I'm just so happy to be here because it's cold here and it's amazing. <laughs> here I'm attaching labels to the the plants of the plant collection and that's pretty pretty important to have them but not super exciting to put them on but while I did it I looked at the plants and it was really fun actually. Okay so today at work I got a book about bryophytes signed by the author of that book and he wanted to give it to me because he thought I was so enthusiastic and I can't tell him wrong on that one um, and then he showed me some of the species in it and it was just so exciting and then I saw a really cool one and I was like oh I want to find that and he was like I I don't think you can we've only found one colony of them so far in Europe and of course my head goes straight to well you don't know my level of crazy so here I am in the wetlands where it might be searching for it because <laughs> you can't tell me that I can't do something duh challenge accepted bruv goodness <laughs> I'm off to the next patch of wetland now uh, I didn't find what I was looking for in the first one, so I guess I'll just have to try again. But if I can't find it today, then I'll just have to go again. I mean, <laughs> why am I supposed to stop <laughs> ever? Well, maybe someday I get too old for this, but that's not yet. <laughs> Although I did find a lot of beautiful bryophytes, but as long as they're not what I'm looking for, they're not good enough. 
<laughs> okay, that's really cruel, but you know what I'm saying. You know.